take a look at these two 3D printed spheres. They are from the same model. But the second one has a noticeably smoother top with a stepping effect. What's the secret? It's all thanks to a powerful function called variable layer height. Want to achieve smoother prints without slowing down? Let's dive in. When slicing a model in Eligo Slicer, experienced users know that reducing layer height under the quality settings can improve surface smoothness. Think of it like dividing a slope into more steps. The finer the layers, the smoother the curve. But here's the catch. Smaller layer heights mean longer print times. For example, reducing the layer height from 0.28 mm to 0.12 mm increased the print time from 25 minutes 59 seconds to 49 minutes 45 seconds. A 90% jump. So, how can we enhance detail without drastically increasing print time? The answer lies in variable layer height. Most models only need finer layers in specific areas. By adjusting layer heights selectively, you can save time while improving quality. Alright, let's get started. First, open up your Eligo Slicer and find the variable layer height tool. It's like a magic wand for your prints. Click it and you'll see some buttons pop up along with a handy variable layer height panel on the right. Now, if you prefer letting Eligo Slicer do the auto adjustment, try the adaptive mode. Just click the button and the slicer will automatically tweak the layer heights for you. Want more detail? Drag the quality slash speed slider toward quality. Prefer a faster print? Drag it towards speed. Easy, right? Oh, and check out the layer height panel. It's super helpful. The greener and denser the stripes, the finer the layers. The redder and sparser they are, the thicker the layers are. Hover over it, and the slicer will show you exactly which part of the model you're adjusting. Sometimes, the auto adjustment can create sudden jumps in layer height. You see these as the jagged blue lines in the panel, which appears as a protruding line on the print. No worries, just grab the radius slider to soften those transitions. Hit smooth and the bumps disappear. If there's a super important area you don't want touched during the smoothing, just tick Keep Min to lock it in. Now, if you are the hands-on type, you can take control manually. Here's the lowdown. Left-click on the panel to make layers thinner, which means more detail. Right-click to make them thicker, which means faster printing. Use your mouse wheel to zoom in or out of the area you're adjusting. Made a mistake? Press Shift plus left click to reset a section to default height. Want to smooth a specific spot? Press Shift plus right click to do the trick. If you forget any of these shortcuts, just hover over the little question mark button and they'll pop out. That's it! With variable layer height, you can fine-tune your prints like a pro. Whether you let the slicer do its thing or dive into menu adjustments, your models will come out looking smoother and printing smarter. Go ahead and give it a try! I hope this video has been helpful to you. Don't forget to follow our official channel for more content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next video and happy printing! Elegoo.